Our breath has the ability to lower the pH of water and make it slightly acidic. One of the main components of our breath is carbon dioxide, CO2. When you combine CO2 with simple water, you make carbonic acid right in solution. In order for us to see this slight change in pH in the water, we have to use a slightly more sensitive pH indicator than the red cabbage we used in a previous video. The indicator we need this time is called phenol red. You can find it in many home chemistry kits that are meant for children. Phenol red will stay red at a neutral temperature and it will change to yellow with a slight lowering of the pH into the acidic region. Watch what happens when we blow our bubbles of CO2 into water in the presence of this indicator. Okay, so we have some water stirring and we have some phenol red indicator solution. All right, so we're going to apply five drops of the phenol red indicator solution to the water. Okay, we're going to stop the stirring because we're going to start blowing some bubbles through there. Okay, go ahead, start. How much CO2 carbon dioxide is it going to take? So that started out as a more brilliant pink color, and now it seems to be changing. Okay, we can stop. All right, so we started out with a pink color and we ended up with something, well, the, the pink color completely disappeared and it looks like it's aiming toward yellow now. So just remember how this works. CO2 from our breath dissolves in water. And then when it dissolves in water, it forms carbonic acid. So the presence of this acid that's uh, forming in solution that's lowering the pH of the water from neutral to acidic. So the phenol red is telling us as an indicator that the water is now acidic. 